So New Jersey is not immune to um, hurricanes, tropical storms, and uh, nor'easters. So with all this rain can lead to flooding. So this week I'm talking about buying a house in a flood zone. So let's get started. But let me get out of the rain first. Hi there, I'm Jackie Baker with Coldwell Banker Realty, serving the beautiful Bergen County area. Welcome to my channel. I post videos here every Wednesday and I talk about all things real estate. So if that is something of interest to you, be sure to hit that subscribe button right down there and that notification bell so you'll never miss a video. So this week, I thought it would be a good idea to talk about buying a house in a flood zone. Since we are coming upon, we are in hurricane season, tropical storms, and going into the fall, uh, we do experience nor'easters up here. Thought it was important to cover the topic of flood zones. Now, when you're searching for a house, uh, your realtor should also be checking to see if the house is in a flood zone, and that will be indicated right on multiple listing um, on the listing itself. It'll say um, if it is happens to be in a flood zone. Once you determine that it is in a flood zone, you, you can dig a little bit deeper and check the FEMA maps. FEMA, you know, the Federal Emergency Management Agency. FEMA is the one that's designating these flood zones. So then they put it on a map and you go from there to see exactly what type of a flood zone it is. Now, listen, if you if the house is in a flood zone, does it mean it takes some water all the time? The, you know, it floods once a year. No, it does not. So here are some things that you need to consider. So you need to determine what type of flood zone it is. And as I said, FEMA is the one that sets the rules on what type of flood zone the property is located in. Looking at my chart that I have posted up here, we have several different types of flood zones. We have zones A, AH, AO, AE, and then there's V and VE. These are areas that have a greater than 1% chance of flooding. In the A zones, they are broken down further to a 100-year floodplain and a 500-year floodplain. What does that mean? It's saying that there's um, a chance like once in 100 years that the house will um, take on, will be flooded, or that area will be flooded. Same with the 500 year, it's a less of a risk. So it'd be once every 500 years that the area would, would flood. Zones V and VE, those zones are located on coastal areas. So if you're buying a beach house down the shore, more than likely you're in those, you're gonna be in those designated flood zone areas. Now we also have zones B, C, and X. Those are low to moderate risks of flooding. Hey, you, you know what time it is? It's time to hit that like button right, right there. So if you see that, hit, hit that like button. Thanks. So like I said, it doesn't necessarily mean that a house is gonna take on water all the time just because it's designated in a flood zone area. So what does this mean? So if you say you found a house and you like it and it, it's in the zone AE, which is a 100 year or 500 year floodplain, what happens? If you're financing your house, you're getting a mortgage, you're gonna need flood insurance. That's, that's it, no choice in that. So what is this gonna cost you? Depending on the flood zone area, you know, obviously the level of risk, that's gonna determine the cost. So what I recommend is you would contact an insurance agent that does provide flood insurance to find out exactly how much that's gonna cost. Now in New Jersey, I've seen flood insurance prices between 1,800 up to $3,000 a year. Again, depends on the flood zone that you're in. But what you can do is you can call an insurance agent and say, hey, I, I found this great house on 123 Main Street. It's in a flood zone. Can you tell me what it would cost to insure it? So that insurance agent can actually pull up the address of the house you're gonna be purchasing and they can um, determine how much that, that flood insurance is gonna cost you. So I highly recommend doing that before you move forward with the purchase of your home. Now, what about selling your home in a flood zone? So once you've owned this home down the road, you turn around, you need to sell it. You know, I'm not gonna lie, it's challenging, it is. But if you're in a lesser risk flood zone, you know, there are some people that can look past that. But I, one thing I will tell you, if your home ever took on any water during the time you owned it, 
you absolutely 1000% you have to disclose that information to potential buyers. It's so important that you do that. Now, again, if it's in a nice area, it's a nice house, you know, it's not that high of a risk. You know, some people are going to look past it and say, hey, it's, you know, it's okay. They're willing to spend the money on that flood insurance. One thing I do want to add is if you are, say, paying cash for a house, you don't need the mortgage. So obviously you're not going to, you're not going to have to buy flood insurance, but do yourself a favor, buy the flood insurance anyway. We've had some pretty major storms in the last eight to 10 years up here in New Jersey. So I would not risk it. I would definitely invest the money and get some flood insurance on that house, even though you're paying cash for it. Trust me, it, you got to do it because it will come back to bite you. There you have it. That's my discussion this week about buying a house in a flood zone. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. My information is always down below in that description box. You can call, text, email me. I am happy to answer any questions that you may have. If you are searching for a home and you are concerned about flood zone areas, even before you talk to a realtor, listen, you can go on to FEMA.gov and you can see if there are um, if flood zones in the towns that you are looking to buy a home. So that's what I have for this week. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Jackie Baker with Coldwell Banker Realty and I will see you next time.